Okay guys, welcome back to Power Building with Calisthenics Replays. For those of you guys who don't understand what these videos are about, pretty much it's me looking back at the clips during my workout session in the last episode or the latest episode that you watched. And then I share my thoughts with you guys on what I can improve and how I can just do things a lot better. And you guys can also give me some feedback or give me some input on what I should do to improve. So first things first, I'm looking at the bench. And the bench is my weakest lift. And one problem I was having was my back tightness. Now, something I pointed out was that I would be racking the weight, the bar, too high. And I didn't realize until I actually took a look at the notches. I'm like, yo, the bar is too high. I need to lower it. And when I lowered it, I was able to keep my back tightness a little bit more. But of course, I still lose my back tightness a bit or a lot when I increase the weight. But it's something I'm still working on. The same thing happened to me last year in powerlifting with calisthenics. And I pretty much improved over a month or so my back tightness was a lot better and i really do realize that my like lifting or bench pressing is a lot easier when my back is tight i didn't realize that before but now i'm really realizing that somebody actually told me when i'm on racking the weight i should use my lats and not my arms i'm sure some of you guys may understand that i kind of understand what he's talking about so i'll try it out next time to see if it will help with my back tightness because i feel like my i lose my back tightness as soon as i unrack the weight and that's the problem i'm having another thing somebody said was that I should try to explode the weight. Exploding the weight was something I was thinking about but I just decided that hey I don't know if it'll be safe. I don't know if I'll snap my shit up doing that but I'll try that. So I'll try to unrack the weight with my lats and I'll try to explode when I'm doing my lifts. Next thing I want to sh show you guys was my front squats. Now my front squats I don't have anything bad to say about it. I think it's absolutely perfect. It feels absolutely amazing. The weight I didn't go too heavy because I'm still just getting back into the gym. And remember guys I kind of did hurt my back a little bit. My body is still sore from just everything from building my room, from working those long hours. My body is sore to be honest. But in terms of my front squat, it feels amazing. I feel PRs coming soon. That weight is light, guys. What you guys are seeing is light for me. Like I could, I do five by five regardless of the weight. But I'm telling you guys, I could do way more. I could do significantly more weight than 95 pounds for a front squat. I think my front squat PR for like five reps was like 155. And my one rep PR for you guys who, don't, who haven't watched powerlifting calisthenics was 225. But yeah, as for my front squats, I'm going to increase the weight next time I hit the front squats as well as the back squats. I want to I wanna see if I could go up to 185 for like three reps, three to five reps uh, next week. But yeah, I really like the front squat. What do you guys think? You guys comment that down below. I'm trying to hit some nice depth. I'm trying to keep my, my back extended and just keep everything tight. The front squat's nice. Now the incline bench. I just hate benching, man. Benching is fun sometimes, but at the same time, it's just, uh, the stabilization for me, it just sucks. Now for the incline bench, that's a part of the bodybuilding portion of the workout. And as for the incline bench, it was the first time I was doing it, the very, very first time I was doing it, and I realized that I wasn't pushing the weight totally upwards or vertically. I was kind of pushing it in a, in a slight angle because I just felt awkward. I felt awkward at the incline, and therefore I was kind of pushing it outwards. So I realized that, and that's something I could fix easily. That weight was pretty good. I think I can increase the weight so I can get more tension on my chest. And I'm really doing the incline bench just to build my upper chest because my upper chest is very, is lagging, is lagging. And since I was doing a lot of calisthenics, calisthenics involves a lot of downward pushing like dips and push-ups aren't really an upper chest movement, it's more like a, a all around chest movement. So of course my lower chest, since it was getting, since it's always being targeted, it looks a lot more defined than my upper chest. And I didn't realize until a lot of you guys were pointing it out. Now you got me feeling all insecure and ugly, you freaking dickhead bullies. The leg press is another one I want to point out. Just to point something out, the weight I was using is light. I understand. I'm bodybuilding. I don't really care about how much weight I'm using. I just care about how I fatigue the muscle. And again, the weight is light because my back, I was trying to keep my back safe because I did hurt it during the deadlifts, which I feel like, which I really feel I'm going to fix next week. And 
After that weight, it's nothing. I could have did that weight with one leg if I wanted to, but again, I want to keep my back protected. That's why I don't snap any more shit up or just aggravate my back or make it worse. So yeah, guys, that's all I have for today for Power Building Cow Snakes Replays. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This, this, these type of videos are more for the lifters, the ones who actually care about the lifting portion, because I know some of you guys watch my videos just for entertainment purposes. But for you lifters out there, I'm actually surprised that this the replays are doing well, the replay that I did last time is doing just as well as the official episode. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you guys have some great feedback to give me. And I'll talk to y'all next time. Stay blessed. I'm out of here. Done.